good afternoon good afternoon how's everybody doing today this is the card hobbyist i'll be your card tender for this cardboard happy hour hope everybody's having a fine afternoon early evening or morning or middle of the night depending on where you are in the world as you watch this Trying to get set up here for our cheapo cards. Let me throw out a uh, Twitter link real quick. Let me go ahead and pull that up. Tweeter. Is it me or is like my camera look really bright today for some reason? Not because I moved the camera too close. Terry B, what's up, my friend? Hey, we could do your uh, we could do your repack since you're in here. So give me one second, Terry. Let me shout this link real quick for uh, the video. So Let's see cardboard I cannot spell this morning Mike the card dude how you doing my friend how you doing today all right let's tweet it out get back to it let's clear out some areas so we can start out with Terry's Let's see, you got the blaster, the reblast, and you got the uh, three repacks. So that's a total of nine repacks. We'll do your first three, we'll re up, and then we'll do your six plus your bonus retail pack or your bonus sealed production pack. Grab one of these out for you. Got a cold from hunting in the rain. Sports card talk show. What's up? Is that Kevin? Or is that Lauren? Lauren has his own uh, other channel, right? His rock and roll channel, as he calls it. <laughs> Yeah, be careful out there, Mike, when you're out there hunting. What you hunting for this time of year? Hunting for moose? <laughs> That's hunting now. We don't have anything like moose where, uh, where I live. They do plenty of deer and uh, duck, turkey hunting, rabbit, you know, around here, but no moose, no moose around here. <laughs> I guess with moose hunting, you get one moose and you're set for the year if you're hunting it for, for the meat. All right, Terry. Oh, yeah, if you don't have a 50 cow, don't mess with the moose. Yeah. Hey, yeah, anything uh, smaller than that, you're probably just making it angry. <laughs> uh, Terry, go ahead and give me uh, six numbers from 1 through 25 for your reblast. I've never even like seen a moose up close, so like they just look like massive creatures. Because they're probably taller than me than uh well probably well taller than me while they're standing. <laughs> One 
One moose can yield 800 pounds of meat. That is a lot of meat. All right, Kevin, we got confirmation. How you doing, Kevin? How's your day been treating you? All right, so he wants seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, you wanted nine. That's nine. Ten. Oh, I missed your three. One, two, three. So we got nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So that is six. And your pack is 2019 Optic. We're going to grab six more packs here. Throw them back into the repack box. We just toss them in the middle there. Truth, how are you doing this afternoon? Let's go ahead and get into it. So, Terry B graciously purchased a Reblast, which is six card obvious repacks, and an unopened pack of cards. So, we're going to do the unopened pack of cards first, and then we'll get into the repacks. So, good luck, Terry B. Well, that didn't open too easy. Alright, starting off, Terry, you got a King Felix. Let's get the focus right here, so I'm not messing with it too much. You got a Jose Ramirez. You got a Max Scherzer Highlights Prism. And a Framber Valdez Rookie Card. Framber Valdez Rookie Card. Alright, first repacks got Will Clark on the front. We'll save your $3 plus card to the end. You got Alex Gordon. Clint Frazier. Luis Urias, rated rookie prism. You got a Chris Taylor, stadium club. There's your Will Clark. You got a Brandon Lau, rookie card. Last year's 2019. You got a nicknames, Andy. That's uh, Brian Anderson. You got a Juan Soto nickname, Juanjo, and your three plus card is, ooh, you got an auto, Jason Mott, Jason Mott autograph from 2011 lineage, 1952 style, Jason Mott autograph. So it's a good pack there, Terry. The next one, here you got Greg Allen on the front. Save your good card to the end. You got a Barry Bonds, 2000 Tops. Cody Bellinger. Tanaka. You got a Taylor Ward rookie, 150 stamp. Here's that Greg Allen. <laughs> you got David Slingshot. You got an Elvis Andrews uh, Archives. You got a Yelly uh, Retro. This is when he played with Miami. You got a Ballpark Evolution Veteran Stadium. And your good card is, looks like a Mike Trout. Mike Trout, 2014 Mike Trout. All right, your third repack. Not a bad blaster so far, or a reblast, I should call it. We'll save your good card to last. Or your three plus card. Hosmer, opening day. Marte. David Price. Matt Carpenter. Nicholas Castellanos. You got a bzzz man. Andy Hoare and Betts. You got a Doggy Door rookie. Tops Chrome. You got a Joey Bats. Diamond Kings Pink. And your good card is you got another auto. Anthony Banda. Finest rookie, Anthony Banda. 
Got two autos in this reblast. Good choices on your pack picks there, Terry. We are in pack number three now. Or pack number, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, you got pack number four, excuse me. Terry be three days at the lake and could have catch a single trout. Well, it'd be called catching then instead of fishing. Got a Ryan O'Haron rookie card. Joey Votto. Nelly Cruz Pink. Brett Gardner. Scooter Gannett. Clayton Kershaw. You got Cal Ripken Donruss. You got a Nick Markakis Rainbow Foil. And your good card here is... Mookie Betts, Mookie Betts Relic. Dirty Relic, too. Nice little dirty relic there. Terry B. cleaning it up today. Terry B. is definitely cleaning it up today. One second, folks. I gotta check something real quick. Sorry, guys. I'm checking on something real quick. All right. Pack number five. Pack number five. You got a Garrett Cooper, rookie. Dimitri Young, uh, 91 upper deck. I think this is his rookie card. You got a Bzzt man, pre-rookie from Contenders. You got a get up with Benji, or not Benji, Yadi Molina and Azuna. What's up, Tom T? How you doing, my friend? You got Aldoberto Mondesi. Aldoberto Mondesi. Gypsy Queen. You got Trevor Bauer Donruss. You got a Step Right Up. Tightrope Walking from Allen and Ginter. You got a Javi Baez. 2019. You got a Scorching Jordan Hicks. And your good card looks like a die cut here. Good card is... Giancarlo Stanton from Prism Orange. Die cut. This one is numbered... I believe somewhere thought these were numbered the die cut oranges yeah there it is numbered out of 60 it's kind of hard to see I get the reflection right on there 16 out of 60 nice little Mike Stanton yeah Terry B is killing it on the repacks killing it all right last repack Terry You got a Ricky Henderson, Tyler Wade rookie. You got a Matt Festa Ice, Bowman Platinum, JD. You got a Kenny Rogers, the Chicken Man doesn't like cameramen, 94 Flair. You got a Ryan Brazier. You got a Noah Syndergaard Diamond Kings. You got a Bryce Harper Holiday from 2016. And your good card is Reese Hoskins, Reese Hoskins rated rookie. So not too shabby there. Here's a recap of your good cards from the Reblast. Giancarlo Stanton die cut orange out of 60. Mookie Betts out of um, Tops last year. Relic. Anthony Banda auto. You got a Mike Trout for 2014. A Jason Mott auto. And a Reese Hoskins rookie card. Very, very solid choice of packs there, Terry. You also bought three more repacks. So go ahead and give me three more numbers there, Terry. And set all these team bags to the side here. These will probably be refilled with Terry's cards anyways. Because in 2000, there was a Yankee named Mike Stanton. Yeah, Mike Stanton, the reliever. Uh, he was on the Braves back in the day. Lefty reliever. He was in the league a long time. He was a good pitcher. 119 and 25. All right. Number one. We'll count from the back. Here's 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, and 19. All right. Good luck, Terry. You got a Jesus Sucre. Shohei, Big League. 
You got a team's traditions, Cincinnati Reds uh, opening day parade. You got an Aroldis Chapman rookie card. You got a Jackie Bradley Jr. from Bowman. Jonas Cespedes, Donruss. You got a Yoan Mankata, Donruss throwback. You got an Austin Wins rookie card. And your good card is another auto. Very nice. Uh, Matthew Gildry. Matthew Gillery, excuse me. This one is numbered out of 400 from SP Prospects. This is a 2004. 2004. So, probably a guy that, I don't know if he made it to the bigs or not, but it's an auto nonetheless. Pack number two. At <laughs> definitely add into the auto binder. Uh, you got a David Wells. You got a Austin Barnes. You got a Daniel Murphy. Severino optic. Here's a Justin Turner that was on the front. Here is a Chris Bryant Stadium Club. You got a Hosmer Bellinger. You got a 71 rookie stars uh, Braves. Oscar Brown Earl Wynn. And your rookie is a uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Stadium Club. Vlad Jr. Stadium Club rookie card. It's a cool card there. Yeah, Terry is definitely killing it today. Definitely killing it. All right, last pack, my friend. You got a Gregory Polanco archives. You got a Christian Stewart rookie. You got a Devers Bowen Platinum. Escobar Donruss. Luis Ortiz rookie. Corey Kluba needs an Uba. You got another 71. Cal Kuntz. Cal Kuntz with the Red Sox. You got a Raphael Devers rookie. Never compromised from Stadium Club. And your good card is... Miguel Sano. Prism. I think these are called Plaids. Plaid Miguel Sano. This one is numbered. 75 out of 75. The old eBay 101. The bookend. 75 out of 75. Pretty cool there. Very, very nice pools. Those were your good cards in the last three packs. Terry B definitely tore it up today with this pack selection. All this stuff is for Terry. Let me set this aside so it's out of the way. I will get those into the mail, Terry, probably on Monday. It'll probably be Monday before I make it to the post office. If we aren't on total lockdown by then. But the good thing is the post office is right down the street from me. So, thank you, Terry, for buying into those repacks. Let's go ahead and get into some dime cards here, folks. Let's get into some dimes. Start dropping some dimes here. Where is my color box? All right, there we go. So we'll be doing both football and baseball today, just like we did on Tuesday. So we are going to start off with some baseball. Each of these cards is a dime. If you want to claim a card, just say sold in the player's name. And shipping is $4 flat. That's for all your cards. If you only get a few cards a day, I don't mind holding them for a little while for you. But don't let, them, let me hold them too long because <laughs> then I'll just rotate them back into the, uh, the stack. So... If you got to wait to pay, that's fine. Send me an email to cardobvious at gmail.com. Say, look, I can pay you on such and such day. I'm all good with it. All right, let's go ahead and start out. These are all dime cards. If you want to claim any of these, just say sold, the player's name. All right, we got... Let's get the focus right about here. So we got a Arenado LeMahieu Donruss. Brendan Rogers, Bowman, Todd Frazier. I'm kind of just going to flip through these, so um, I may be past your card by the time you claim it, which is fine. I'll go back and get it. 
Todd Frazier, big league. Kluber, Sale, Severino, big league. Chu, big league. Stanton, big league. Keichel, big league. Stan, opening day, 2018. Polanco, Chrome. Baruchy, Ricky, Bowman. Ian App. Dexter Fowler, chugging away. Jonathan Villar, now with the Marlins. Simba. We got two Thors, who is now out for the season. That was sadly supposed to start today, but he's having Tommy John, so even if we have a season of this year, you will not be seeing Thor. Ian Happ Retro. You got Kyle Hendricks. You got George Rum Springer. Bzz. You got Roddy Red or Roddy Reed, Ricky Card, Bowman. You got Bzz. Heritage. Kyle Hendricks, Heritage. Looking all sad in that picture. You got Josh Donaldson, 2019. You got Charlie Blackman. Cole Hamels. You got Eric Hosmer, Big League. J.D. Martinez. Jonas. Al Tuve. You got Aledmus Diaz. There's no season this year. Will they still make cards next year? Uh, Top's still got to make their money. So, yeah, I think, you know, there will be cards next year. It'll be weird uh, how they do it, but pretty sure they'll make cards next year. I don't know if they'll just reprint this year's cards. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, those cards will have, like, you know, a stat line saying, like, season canceled or something on it, I guess. Billy Hamilton. Conforto Holiday, Diaz Holiday, Rosario Holiday, Wheeler, Kimbrell, Schwarbs. Stack fell over back here. Alright, we got a Bryce Turang pro debut. Evan White, who the Mariners paid all that money to, hasn't even played a game yet. Adonis Medina. Funky Cole Medina. We got a Elhiris Montero. Josh Bruh. What you talking about, Bruh? We got a Taylor Trammell. Playing for the Ch Tortugas there, but he got traded. Uh, Ryland Bannon. Power hitter for the Orioles. Daniel Lynch. Look at those ears, man. He's got Don Mazzi ears. Uh, Tommy Romero. You got a... Who is that? Siuli Matias. Matt Manning. A couple of Matt Mannings. Anthony Siegler. Got a couple of those. And Brendan Rogers, Trevor Story. Rookie debut. Rookie card. Charlie Blackman. Roselle Herrera. Two Roselle Herrera rookie cards. Herrera. And that does it for the dime cards. We're going to move on to quarter cards. There's going to be football today. Like I said, we are doing football and baseball. Let's see. Where's my stack of quarter cards? Alright, Mike. Are you eating moose? <laughs> Are you having moose for dinner, Mike? Appreciate you stopping in, Mike. Enjoy your dinner. Alright, these are quarter cards. So let's pull up the one quarter to play. Each of these cost a quarter. All you have to do is say sold in the player. We got Dez Bryant, Optic. Jason Witten, Donruss. Maurice Claiborne, Power Players, Parallel. Uh, Felix Jones, yes, yeah, the glossy score. Sean Lee, 
Leighton Vander Esch, Emmett Smith flashback, Des Bryant Donruss, Dak, Zeke, Cedric Wilson rookie, got a Malcolm Agnew, another Malcolm Agnew, Corey Davis, touchdown machines, Tim Brown, I got a Julian Love rookie, Dexter Williams rookie, Darwin Thompson, Tyree Jackson, who's in the XFL now. We got a DJ Moore, Pat McAfee, Matty Ice, Jake Rudock, rookie. A couple Jared Stidhams, going to be the new guy in uh, New England. Now that Brady's in Tampa. We got a Hollywood Brown, Debo, got a couple Debos. Got a couple three Debos. Demarcus Lodge. Gold. Dee Dee Westbrook rated rookie. Buda Baker. Buda Baker. We got a Bill of Texas. Texas. Vince Young, Texas. Jim Bartleson, Texas. Eric Metcalf, Texas. We got Chris Carter for the Vikings. Bobby Wagner. Devontae Adams. Emmanuel Sanders. Kirk Cousins, Darius Leonard, Marshall Falk, Jarvis, Sterling Shepard, Ryan Fitzpatrick, the Fitz Tragic or the Fitz Magic. You never know what you're going to get. Drew Sample, Ricky, Jalen Smith, P. Rivers, Tim Brown, Nick Chubb, Mari Cooper. And Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara. Those are the quarter cards for the day. Quickly moving through today. Let's get to uh, the halfers. Half dollar cards. Or the fittest. Let's call them the fittest. Let's see which stick am I on. I think we are here. All right. Each of these costs 50 cent. Remember, if you want to claim it, all you got to do is say sold in the player. And you got it for a 50. You got a Manny Machado. Another Manny Machado. Family business. Got a Jose Peraza. Roldis Chapman. 71 Tony Cloninger. Brandon Phillips. Calling cards. Insert. Nick Senzel. Jaime Barrio, rookie. Pool Holes, Gypsy Queen. Giancarlo Stanton, this is from Diamond Kings, an insert, crowning moment. Joey Votto, crowning moment. Got Bzz, Altuve, Diamond Kings insert. Lindor, Diamond Kings insert. <laughs> that depends, Truth, when's your, uh, when's your work open again? Because <laughs> if you say it's like in four months or so, then <laughs> no idea I'm a chef. Uh, truth, I don't think I can hold them for that long for you. I really do uh, wish you the best on um, hopefully they open this stuff soon. I know uh, Joe Mansman is also in the restaurant industry. Um, yeah, that sucks, dude. Just the whole uncertainty thing is like, <laughs> will be four four months. <laughs> well, I mean, I hope so. It's just, uh, you know, it's uncertain right now. Truth. I mean, it's not like my cards sell like hotcakes. So a lot of this stuff's gonna be around. Truth. Um, tell you the truth. I didn't mean that as a pun either. All right, Arenado, Scherzer, Trevor Story. Because I mean, as I look at it now, there's four people in here, so. It's not like I'm selling to a room of 50, 60 people. Bradley Zimmer, rookie. So much of this stuff's going to be around. Clevenger, Honus Bonus. Naquin, rated rookie. Rick Austin, 71. Greg Allen, gold. Cuba needs an Uba, gold. Cargo. Arenado. Arenado. 
just got a notification on my phone. Oh, okay. Say my package was delivered. It was delivered like five hours ago. Jacoby Jones, ready rookie. Michael Fulmer. Justin Thompson. We got a Nico Goodrum. Chris Shaw. Castellanos. Buster Posey. Mercado rookie from Holiday. Cody Bellinger. Optic. Otani cup card. We got an Elvis Andrews gold. We got a Patrick Wisdom red prism. Jonathan Davis rookie. We got a Lourdes Gurriel gold. Big league. Jordan Hicks. Bregman gold. We got a Yusei Kikuchi, pink rated rookie. Raphael Devers, rookie cup card from opening day last year. We got a You Don't Know, Robbie Cano uh, from Big League. I think it's Players Weekend insert. We got a Nick Senzel, rookie card, Crusade from Chronicles. Juan Soto, cup card, Holiday. We got a Matt Chapman, Matt Chapman. We got a Alex Verdugo rookie. Alex Verdugo rookie. We got a Cody Bellinger. Stadium club. We got a Clayton Kershaw. The Clydesdales in the back. Stadium club. Corey Seager. Silver Slugger award. We got a Dave Roberts for the Dodgers. We got a Josh James rookie. And we got a Robbie Cano Blue Parallel from Donruss 2018 Retro. Sports kids, finish watching the 2019 Game 7 World Series thing on Major League Baseball. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of watching uh, old games. <laughs> I don't mind watching old highlights from, from time to time, but like, like watching old baseball games or football games or basketball games, just I can't get into them, you know. There's something about it being a live sporting event that I really enjoy versus watching a replay of one. Like, even, like, games that I love. I mean, I, I know you're an Nats fan, sports kids. And, you know, that was a great moment for you. But, you know, even for me, like, being a Braves fan, I can't go watch Game 6 of the 95 World Series. Or, you know, as a Hurricanes fan, I go back and watch, you know, like the... 2001 Rose Bowl, um, yeah, I, I can't do it, <laughs> just not my thing, all right, we're gonna move on to the dollar cards, the dollar cards, the dollar cards today are foosball, so let's hide this, pull that back up, Sports kids, did you cheer again? Did you jump out of your seat when y'all won the uh, World Series? <laughs> True said, I could watch any old games with Dave Justice in it. Well, yeah, that uh, that game six uh, from the 95 World Series definitely uh, featured Dave Justice uh, prominently. <laughs> Considering he was responsible for the only run scored in that game. <laughs> All right, so all these are a dollar. These are foosball cards. I spent most of the time in chat just saying bang. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there was quite a bit uh, trolling on the Astros if you were watching it. Uh, watching it in uh, in live streams. <laughs> all right, we got a uh, Jamal Anderson. This is the foil parallel from 97 extreme there's actually three versions of each card you got one without this lightning bolt on it you got one with just the silver lightning bolt on it you got one with the gold and silver lightning bolt on it and then you got one that's got three it's got the green silver and gold lightning bolt on it gotta love 90s parallels they were just trying to do anything to sell cards the dirty bird jamal anderson this is the double Extreme parallel, whatever you call them. We got a William Andrews. This is a reprint from Archives, 2013. 
you got a Brett Favre. Brett Favre. Someone made a f fact. I guess a fake Jose Altuve account and said, I infected the MLB with COVID-19. Airtime. What's up, my man? We're just doing some foosball cards for a dollar. Eric Berry. Eric Berry. It's a funny story about uh, Eric Berry that I'll always remember. Um, back in the day, I used to follow college recruiting really closely. I was a member of a site called Rivals. Um, if you follow college football, you might have heard of Rivals.com, but they do a lot of football recruiting, and they rank high school kids as they're coming out of high school, and you got recruiting rankings and all this, and they do a bunch of stories on recruiting. Well, this guy was like one of the top recruits in the nation. Coming out of high school, he played in Atlanta. And uh, on the forums, you always had these rumors. People would throw out these rumors about, oh, I saw such and such kid at such and such school. Um, you know, this kid was at such and such school. Well, there was this one post about Eric Berry. And I can't remember what school it was at. But it was something like his girlfriend was showing Eric Berry around campus. Oh, and they were going back to his girlfriend's house for lunch, and the dude just got absolutely lambasted. You don't post something like that on the internet? Like, why is Eric Berry hanging out with your girlfriend and you're not around? <laughs> Saying it ain't going to be your girlfriend uh, by the time you get back. Almost Friday. Almost Friday. Jeff, those of us that aren't in work... Uh, it just seems like every day is Friday right now. Actually, it seems like every day is like a Wednesday that you have off. Tony Gonzalez. This is a Tony Gonzalez rookie card. Got two of those. 97 Extreme. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, why why would you be bragging about Eric Berry hanging out with your girlfriend all day? <laughs> uh, here's a uh, AJ Brown Elite Series rookie. These cards are really cool from Donruss. Look at that disco. Don't stop till you get enough. High school season might actually get to play this year. Oh, that's sweet sports, kids. You have a chance to play in the summer, possibly. Yeah, I have a feeling. Like, don't quote me. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a epidemiolo epidemiologist. Is that how you say it? More a pandemic, uh, you know, maestro, expert, whatever. Um, I have a feeling that, you know, once this spike in infections, it's going to go back down uh, pretty, probably pretty sharply for the summer. Um, so, you know, the, the, I think it, you know, you're hitting your peak here. It's probably going to go down for the summer. Things will start to, to return back to normal. And then fall is going to be another crazy time. So look out for fall this year because uh, one of the things with the Spanish flu was, the Spanish flu hit in the spring, um, back in 1918, and it wasn't that bad. You know, it was it was pretty bad, but it wasn't like the pandemic that that everybody talks about from 1918. Summer went and gone, and then the fall came, and you had a second wave of Spanish flu. That was the dangerous one that uh, people weren't prepared for. So, this is a Warren Moon career stat line out of 500. Yeah. 4,690 passing yards in 1991. This was back before everybody and their brother was throwing for 4,000 yards in the NFL. Yeah, it's too late for seniors, definitely. Um, my nephew is a senior. He's graduating this year. I feel terrible for him because, like, he's not in school. He doesn't know when school's going to start back up. Doesn't know if he's going to even have a graduation or a senior prom. So, definitely tough on uh, high school seniors right now. We got a Calvin Johnson rookie guard, Megatron, 2007. Have some dinner and do some lifting. Sports kids always putting in the work. All right, sports kids, appreciate you hopping in. We got a Niall Lawrence Stample rookie card. This is the camo parallel. Uh, 179 out of 199. Kind of see it right there. I'm part of Florida, in truth. We got uh, Danny Dimes, Daniel Jones, Leaf Draft. Famous Jameis with Eli back there. Jameis Winston and Eli. 
Reflections card. Here's another Reflections with Amari Cooper and Julio Jones. Port Orange? Okay. I should have known that. I sent you some cards. <laughs> A couple weeks ago. <laughs> That's right. I do remember sending some cards down there. Okay. Yeah, the D D Daytona area. Gotcha. Rock Cartwright, Ricky. Yeah, Airtime, you're you're really close to the uh to the epicenter of pretty much all the people that uh that got it like <laughs> two thirds, three quarters of the Americans that have uh the coronavirus are like in New York City. Uh Gary Clark. Gary Clark from eighty six. This card's a little little bit worn at the top. Got a Vince Young, sophomore sensations, uh blue reflector. Got another Hollywood Brown rookie card. Trace McSorley, Gold Leaf. Dwayne Haskins, rookie. Noah Fant, Gold Leaf Draft. Clayton Thorson, Gold Rookie from Score. Premium Portrait, Ezekiel Elliott. Jake the Snake Plumber. This is a rookie card. It's the thick stock rookie card. 50 point. These are parallels this year. That is a Jake Plumber rookie card. He was so new they had to write his name on his helmet. So people in camp knew who he was. <laughs> this kid's name is Plumber. I'm sure he got a lot of crap for that. We got a Carson Palmer Clear Vision. See through card. Here's a Rob Johnson. It's another one of those uh, double lightning bolts. Rob Johnson, double lightning bolt. From 97 Extreme, Edge Extreme. We got a uh, Justin Blackman die cut primary colors for the Jaguars. This is a guy that kind of threw his uh, NFL aspirations out the window. Uh, is there a way I buy my usual spot in the next break? Pay off my balance with one payment? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can. If you want, instead of buying it through the website. If you just want me to give you a total of uh, what you owe for the the cheapo cards in the, in the break, I could just send that to you and you could just PayPal me, like normally. Jersey for 50 years, Tennessee now. Kevin, what part of Tennessee are you in? They're scared and bored. Man, that's crazy. It's a crazy duality of uh, emotion there, to be scared and bored. Jersey for 50 years, Tennessee now. Kingsport, Kingsport. I'm trying to think. Where's Kingsport? I've been through Tennessee many a times. Um, at least driving through on the I-40 corridor. So I'm... Oh, it's in Northeastern? So you're up in the mountains, Kevin? Oh, Bristol. Got you. We got a Mercedes Lewis. Mercedes Lewis. This is a silver from Panini Threads. This card actually brings back memories because I bought this box in Charleston. Uh, the day after I saw Daniel Tosh perform live in Charleston. This card is numbered somewhere. I just got to find it. There it is. 118 out of 250. Mercedes Lewis. It was this box of Panini Threads was bought on Black Friday. Whatever year this was. <laughs> 2011, man. Was that long ago? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just take the spot off the site from the inventory. We got a Dre Anderson die cut. He's a pretty cool little card here from Prism Draft Picks. Yeah, Jeff, I'll just send you a total of what it would be for the cards you have in your stack right now and uh, for the spot in the break. We got a uh, Miles Gaskin. Miles Gaskin from Legacy Rookie. What's up, Void? How you doing? Get another Miles Gaskin. 
Got a Nick Foles rookie exclusive. It's from 2012 Upper Deck. Nick Foles rookie exclusive. We got a Uncle Rico Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew rookie card. Daughter wants to get down there one of these days for Dollywood. Never been to Dollywood. I've been to just outside Dollywood. I stopped at the gas station there. Never went inside Dollywood. Hospitals are bringing in 53 foot cool trailers for the dead. Where you are? Or or New York, Kevin. A lot of people are playing down this crisis. Please take it seriously. New York is ground zero. Friends are all in the medical industry. Yeah, yeah, it's true. My brother is a doctor in Cincinnati, and he's he's like, he's like I, I I wish I can wear a hazmat suit, you know, to see patients. Because even the doctors are scared of it. But he's like he has to put on a strong face, and you know, he he works with the elderly anyways. <laughs> That's what he does as a doctor. He's a traveling doctor for nursing homes. Mansman, what's up, my friend? I right, got a Quentin Nelson out of 100. 21 out of 100. Press proof. We got a Anthony Gonzalez bronze rookie. We got an Elite Series Andrew Luck. Optic. Void says, waiting for the zombies. That I could be down for. Peyton Manning, 2019. We got a uh, 2019 Donruss Andrew Luck. These are like the retro throwback inserts. Uh, 19 Donruss highlights Andrew Luck. AJ Brown, NFL draft card. Sold Nelson out of 100, going to airtime. Sorry, every time I gotta get back to it. My chat is a little slow. Alright, Quentin Nelson going to airtime. Get you another stack started here. Airtime right now, your carryover is $5.45. And this is your first purchase for the day. Appreciate that, Jeff. Ricky Clark's in the hizzy. Ricky, we're already on the dollar cards. We're doing some foosball dollar cards. Ricky, I still got a stack for you, my friend. I still got you a uh, two dollar stack sitting over here. Yeah, YouTube's uh, YouTube's being a. Uh, douche right now here's a um greedy williams rookie dk metcalf rookie irv smith jr demarco murray purple deck prescott captains got a roger staubach leaf draft gold got a franchise blake bortles green Got an All-American score, uh, Andrew Luck. Got a franchise, Andrew Luck. We got a Patty Mahomes Donruss, 2019 Patty Mahomes. We got a Aaron Donald Moment Epics score. And the last card's another Greedy Williams rookie. Void wants the Mahomes. Void said, send me the Mahomes. <laughs> Void, if you just purchase this one card, it'll be a dollar. But it'll be 75 cents for shipping if you just want this one card shipped to you. If not, I could build you a stack. Let me know. YouTube is blocking the crisis words, so just don't use them. Yeah, whole city is sad. 
uh, that as well with the Jags. Even the court shut down. That's Philly doing today. Imagine having a hearing via Skype. Yeah. Take it as it goes, Void. All right, Void. Got you for the Patty Mahomes. All right, that does it for the dollar to Hollis. I don't know if y'all were in here earlier, but uh, Terry B came in here and absolutely wrecked, wrecked the repacks, wrecked them. Let me show you what he got out of the repacks. So let me get a stack over here. Not this card. Censoring the obvious seems stupid as hell. The news gives us nothing but constant updates. We aren't supposed to mention it. Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't censor information, especially between people. Especially a lot of people that are quarantined, you know? Um, that teeny mate's falling all over the place back here. Slurp time hippo, like, knocking them all over and stuff. Mini shack rat back here, don't want to stand up. All right, so Terry B bought he bought one of my reblasts, which is six repacks, and then he bought an extra three repacks. I'm just gonna show you what he got as far as like the good cards out of there, but these are like the normal other cards that are in there. Yes, that is a Raphael Devers rookie on top there. So he bought six, not these. These are the good cards you get out of the repack. So you got a Miguel Sano. This is out of 60. I think this is the Power Plaid. Or it's out of 75. 75 out of 75 bookend. You got a Vladdy Jr. rookie. You got a Matthew Guillory um, auto. Reese Hoskins rookie from Optic. Jason Mott autograph from Lineage. You got a Mike Trout. From 2014, Anthony Banda, finest autograph. You got a Mookie Betts Dirty Relic. Look how dirty that relic is. And you got a Giancarlo Stanton Prism Die Cut out of... I think this is out of... Um, Where's the numbering on this thing? Pretty sure this is out of 50. No, it's out of 60. 16 out of 60. I don't know if you can see that there. But he got all that for nine repacks. Mansman, your tally is at five dollars. Five dollars, so so he paid twenty-seven for that. And all these. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a bet. So he did a Terry B did a real good job on the repacks today. All right, let me turn my autofocus back on so y'all ain't staring at a. Yeah, man's been you're at five bucks. Void, I only got you for one card right now. Um, since a lot of you weren't in here at the get go for the quarter foosball cards, completed the T84 hologram set for all 50 guards, all holograms. That's cool. Oh, appreciate that, Joe. All right. So, Joe, I'll send you out a shipment after the next uh, Bargain Buster group break because then you'll definitely be over 200 cards and make it worth your uh, $6 shipping you already paid. The move is Saturday. I hear you. All 
Sorry, guys. I'm looking at something. Something different. Jeff, the 85s are really not my favorite. I like the 83s. I like the 83s are my favorite. Then the 84s. I didn't care for the 85s. I really didn't. I like the 82s. The 82s, the hockey sticks, like one of my favorites. 86 was okay. And then did not like 87. A lot of people love 87 because of the wood. Wood grain. But... Alright, so real quick, I'm going through these quarter cards again since uh, a lot of you weren't here for the quarter cards. So I'm just going to do these real quick. Let's, uh, I think Truth was here for him. He didn't see anything he wanted. So we got Kamara, Cooper, Chubb, Tim Brown, Rivers, Jalen, Sample, Fitzpatrick, Shepard, Jarvis, Falk. Leonard Cousins. Really didn't like 82 or 86. Yeah. <laughs> I liked 82. I liked the hockey stick. I liked 81 too because of the little hat. Um, 87, I, 87, 88 did not like. 89's got a decent design. Wagner. Carter. Eric Metcalf. Bertelson. Vince Young. Tessus, Buda Baker, rookie. Yeah, the 81 design, Joe, with the, the hats. Yeah, definitely. Didi Westbrook, rookie. Yeah, the inset pitchers on the uh, 83 and 84s. Um, was it Don? I think it was 92, 92 Don Russ was the first one I remember having the portrait on the back. So they had the action shot on the front and the portrait on the back. I think 92 Don Russ was the first set I remember doing doing that. Debo. Urban. Another Debo. Another Debo. Hollywood Brown. There's uh, going to be the man here in New England this season. Jarrett Stidham. Doing well, Urban. Thanks for asking. Jake Rudock. Matty Ice. Pat McAfee. DJ Moore. Tyree Jackson. 84 is my fave card design with few exceptions like Obsidian and Titan, which aren't base cards anyways. True. Very true. Darwin Thompson. Dexter. Julian Love. Tim Brown. Corey Davis Machines couple Malcolm Agnews who played for the Salukis. What is a Saluki? Cedric Wilson, rookie. Zeke. Dak. Dez. Emmett Smith, flashback. Vander Esch. Sean Lee. Sure, uh... Jeff Airtime's enjoying looking at all these Cowboys. <laughs> Felix Jones. Maurice Claiborne, power players, Witten and Dez. Elbow bump. They have an elbow bump emoji? <laughs> I didn't know they had an elbow bump emoji. That's awesome. <laughs> As a 15-year-old, I absolutely hated 89 Bowmans because they wouldn't fit. Yeah, I still hate them because they won't fit in your binders. You have to buy special binders. Oh, yeah, Mansman's also an NL East uh, non-cowboy fan. You, the Cowboys. Alright. One last time through the fittest scent baseball. Since y'all weren't here for that. And then we will be off for the day. Saw it and had to use it. Yeah, that's, that's good use of the elbow bump emoji. Bunch of bums. Keep, I, I do too, Kevin. I just put, put them in a top loader. But I don't have a whole bunch of them, so... But I'm thinking about picking up uh, some of the, like, if I get a bunch of 89s, I want to put them in my binders. Because I'm a binder guy. I enjoy the binders. Uh, I'll, I'll buy those special four pocket pages where you can actually fit bigger cards in it. Or six pockets. I think six pockets fits those. 
But all the Yankees and Cowboys aside, you will buy. Well, you missed a bunch of Cowboys on Tuesday. Ron Fig beat you to those, Kevin. Um, and I can't put all the Yankees aside because the Yankees, you know, that's Void's team too. So, <laughs> and Amio. Um, I can't really, I can't, I can't really uh, deny other people a chance at Yankees. Uh, if we come across some some Cowboys that nobody buys, like that last stack I went through, I'll definitely set them aside for you. All right, let's go back through these real quick. Robbie Cano, blue. Josh James. Dave Roberts. Oh, yeah, I got an overlay here. <laughs> it just, <laughs> just burn them. I'm not going to do that, Jeff. I'm not going to do that, Jeff. <laughs> uh, I do not want that uh, blowback from burning Cowboys cards on stream. I had to take my channel down. Because they're just the, the Cowboy fans, Cowboy Nation from around the world would uh, never let me down. Let me, <laughs> I'll never live that down. Dak Elliott, etc. All right, uh, I'll go back through it, uh, Kevin. Uh, let me just finish this out. Chapman, Holiday, Soto, Cup, Holiday, Senzel, Crusade, Rookie, Cano, Players Weekend. Got a Devers Rookie Cup from Opening Day last year, or 2018, excuse me. Kikuchi Pink. Bzz. Gold, Jordan Hicks insert, Lourdes Gold, Jonathan Davis Ricky, Patrick Wisdom Ricky, uh, Red Prism. <laughs> Me, Joe would smash the like button. Uh, <laughs> that was Andrews. Yeah, I'm sure everybody that doesn't like the Cowboys that's an Eagles fan, or a Redskins fan, or a Giants fan would smash it, but. Yeah, not gonna go that far. Burning, burning of cards never, never really turns out well on YouTube, from what I've seen. Mercado, Mercado, rookie. Uh, let's see, Buster Posey, Stadium Club, Castellanos, Optic. Uh, Sean Garcia, rookies, good rum. Uh, Justin Thompson, Matt Perillo, whatever those are called. Yeah, Urban knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Michael Fulmer. Jacoby Jones, Ricky. The Arenado throwback. Cargo. Kluba needs an Uba. Gold. Greg Allen, gold. Rick Austin, 71. Naquin, rated Ricky. Clevenger, foil bonus bonus. Zimmer, rookie from Gallery. Jose Ramirez insert. Trevor Story insert. Joe says, I could be on an ocean view balcony or a mountaintop looking at scenery, but there is nothing better than seeing the Cowboys lose. Man's been firing shots this afternoon. <laughs> Max Scherzer. Uh, no hockey, but we forgive them. <laughs> Jeff says, I don't mind Cowboy fans like you, but the ones that jumped on the Aiken, Aikman team bandwagon are annoying. Alright, Jeff. I mean, come on. That's like... It's 30 years ago, man. <laughs> are, are you getting mad at Cowboys fans that jumped on the bandwagon 30 years ago? Arenado insert. Lindor insert. Altuve insert. Because if they've been a fan since Aikman, they've been a Cowboys fan since Aikman, I wouldn't call them bandwagon fans anymore. It's it's over. It's they've done. They've already been on the wagon long enough for they're not a bandwagon fan. They're just there. <laughs> Seems like yesterday. Uh, Votto insert. And just says he, che he cheers for the Giants and whoever plays the Cowboys. Pujols. 
We got a uh, Jaime Beria, Sinzel, Brandon Phillips insert, Cloninger seventy one, Chapman, Peraza, the rookies, Machado insert, and Machado Diamond Kings. I would blame fair weather fans since two of those times were against my bills. <laughs> Oh, void. Even back then, it didn't matter who the Bills played in the Super Bowl. They had the chance at the Giants. They had their chance against the Redskins. Twice against the Cowboys. That last game, that last Super Bowl against the Cowboys. Man. Like, you knew the Bills didn't have a chance going into that game. <laughs> you just knew it. Like, the Bills versus the Giants, like, that was the Bills' best chance to win the Super Bowl because I think they were better than that Giants team. Poor Paul D and Bills fans. No, don't pour the Bills fans, Jeff. The Bills mopped the floor with the Dolphins back then plenty of times. I have no sympathy for the Bills because I grew up watching them beat the Dolphins consistently. So, <laughs> football's for wimps that skate anyways. <laughs> uh, wide left by Norwood, yep. Scott Norlift. Yeah, it was, uh, man. The Bills beat, the Bills beat the Dolphins in a playoff game. I think this was the same year the Bills played the Giants. I think it's the same year the Bills made their first Super Bowl. And I think that year the Dolphins had their best team. And could not beat the Bills. They lost three times to the Bills that season, I believe. At home, on the road, and in the playoffs, the Bills beat them. Um, I think in the regular season they went 12-4. and And two of those losses were to the Bills. And then they lost to them in the playoffs. And... To this day, like, I couldn't tell you for sure, but to this day, I still think that Dolphins team would have beat the Giants in the Super Bowl. At least Stoyanovic would have made that kick. <laughs> Scott Norwood. The Giants definitely got lucky in that Super Bowl. They were not the most talented team in that game. They were good. They had a good defense. Um, They had a solid running game. Who was their running back? Was it Dave Meggett? Little little tiny Dave Meggett in that in that Super Bowl. Um Dave Meggett looked like a like a Pop Warner player <laughs> on a field with all those other NFL players. Tiny. And Jeff Hostetler. Yeah, come on, it's Jeff Hostetler. <laughs> I was on a nationwide commercial for the Bills Giants. See, you were on a nationwide commercial for the Giants. Alright, so now you're gonna make me go look for a full broadcast. Of that Super Bowl and uh, watch uh, watch for um, a nationwide commercial. Otis Anderson, Otis Anderson, yeah, Otis Anderson was good. I boycotted the Giants because you can never get tickets to see them without knowing someone that already had them. The Juice, Od Otis Anderson. It was a Big Brother Sisters commercial. Oh, that's awesome, Urban. That's really cool. You were on. You you were your face was seen by millions. Millions. <laughs> Before YouTube. <laughs> uh. I was a little brother. But that's still awesome, Urban. I mean, you were on a Super Bowl commercial. That was your claim to fame. I've been on the local news like twice, but it, you know, it wasn't for getting arrested or anything like that. It was just like the local news interviewing me out of the blue. Uh, one was for a neighborhood they were building close to my house and they wanted to know what I thought about it. And then another time was like some random interview I did downtown uh, where they asked me a question. I ended up on the news. Yeah, that was my claim to fame. Definitely wasn't a Super Bowl commercial. Yeah, Urban's famous. Urban Super Bowl commercial famous. 
Do you realize what your time on that Super Bowl was worth, Urban? Your FaceTime was probably worth a thousand dollars a second. <laughs> I don't know how Super Bowl commercials cost back then, but it wasn't cheap. We are in the presence of greatness. <laughs> Void said, I've been on local news, but it's Florida. I think every. Yes, it's a requirement when you move to Florida. You are required to be on the local news at least once. Truth was on MTV when I was 15 for skateboarding. The show was called MTV News Unfiltered. Truth is famous too for skateboarding. Were you going pro, Truth? Were you actually, were you, were you a skateboarder or were you like in the background? Urban said I did not get paid. No, I'm not talking about you getting paid. I'm just saying that time where your face was on the screen was worth a bunch of money to somebody. <laughs> Kevin Kirk was a famous athlete, was a broad jumper. Sweet. Did you make it to the Olympics, Kevin? Urban, I need a dual auto at a view and Funkin'. Yeah, you also got to add Kevin to that too. And 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 truth. <laughs> I avoid video cameras. I have a face for radio, is what Joe Mansman says. Usually, if you're drunk or on meth or and have a very loud, insane opinion, that is true. Um, I've been watching that documentary on Netflix about the the tiger guy. And like all these tiger people, and a lot of them are from Florida. So a lot of the footage is Florida footage. Uh, off Savannah birthday cake time. It's Savannah's birthday? Well, happy birthday to Savannah. Uh... All right, Urban, you have a good night, man. Happy birthday, Savannah. Happy birthday, Savannah. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw your uh, your chat pop up, so that's why I said it twice. Have fun, Urban. Appreciate you stopping in. True said, I was sponsored by a shop and almost got on the Zoo York team. Oh, that's sweet. I knew um, one of the guys that lived in my area. He owned a bar around here. His son was a skateboarder. Uh, Tony Hawk came and picked him up one day from the bar. Um, ah, jumper too many broads, Kevin. <laughs> but um, <-ts. laughs> it's always Florida man, woman voices. Uh, I made Savannah smile. That's awesome. Thanks, Urban. Something in the drinking water air just makes people Florida. Uh, what's this tiger show everyone is talking about? Enlighten me. Okay, Jeff. Um, there's a show on Netflix. It's called Tiger King. I think it's called. Uh, truth. I live in Grovetown, Georgia, which is just outside of Augusta. Uh, the skateboarder I'm talking about, his name was Anthony Furlong. Um, I think he was a couple years older than me. Uh, let's see. Chris Cole went to my high school. I'm trying to think who Chris Cole is. Uh, but Jeff, yeah, the show's Tiger King. It's about this man in Oklahoma. His name is Joe Exotic. He's got a dyed blonde mullet. He sings country music. He loves shooting guns. And he he likes owning tigers. Uh, he's also a narcissist. <laughs> and he gets into a feud with a lady in Florida that was wanting to rescue cats. And, like, all these big cat people know each other. And every character in the show seems like it's fake. <laughs> because they're so outrageous. Chris Cole is a great, is a great skateboarder. Okay. He got ground up and fed to his pet tigers because he was a dick and in Florida. I'm not show, sure which uh, show that is, Void. <laughs> That wasn't the Tiger King show, though. Joe lives in Garfield, New Jersey, home of Wayne Corbett and Austin Miles. Wayne Corbett. Oh, there's a name I could go without hearing again. Tiger King. I believe it's called Tiger King on Netflix. 
In fact, I will just pull it up. Yeah, it's called Tiger King. Murder, Mayhem, and Madness. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't watched that one. Void. Wayne Corbett is a nightmare to me, being a Dolphins fan, because that dude destroyed us too. Wayne Corbett. That dude was always open on third down. It's like, why can't you cover that dude? Every third down, he's open. All right, Joe, I got your money, man. Appreciate it. Wayne Corbett, Miles Austin, <clears throat> Mike Austin. Yeah, his name was Miles, Joe. Miles Austin. Or you didn't watch it until the end. I just pulled. No, uh, Void. I I watched. I watched every episode. Uh, all the way to the end. At least the most recent one. Yeah, the guy's name is definitely uh, Joe Exotic. Yeah, there was seven episodes of it, Void. Austin went to my school. Monmouth Hawks. So was Austin from New Jersey or was he from uh, your area, Jeff? Jeff, you went to high school in Jersey? All you Northeasterners. Y'all all live like within two hours of each other. Because <laughs> all them cities are so damn close together. Philly and Jersey and New York. Oh, y'all mashed together. Monmouth U. Okay. Monmouth University. Monmouth. I think I've heard of that. Pretty sure I've heard of Monmouth. Is that a Division II school? Are they considered Division II, Jeff? I got y'all staring at a blurry screen here. What's wrong with me? He's from Garfield and went to college at Monmouth. Got it. All right, folks. So I am about to hop off for the day. It's Division Two. Sweet. I know he was a uh, surprise in the league. Like, who's this guy? Miles Austin. <laughs> and he was really good. Got any oddball Yankees from the Junk Wax era? Uh, probably not. Most of this box that I'm selling for these uh, dime cards and 50 cent cards, um, they're like stars for the most part. So, not really oddballs. I mean, they'd be actual normal Yankees. <laughs> uh, like food cards or Mahomes. Well, you bought one Mahomes. Uh, I got other Mahomes. I don't think I could sell for a dollar. They're always a first round out in March. I got that Mahomes insert epics. But definitely not going to let that go for a dollar. Here's a Bills auto void. Nathan Peterman out of 49. So it's only, what, uh, 43 more than the interceptions he threw in that one game? <laughs> Let's see if I got any other Mahomes. 
in this stack. I probably don't. I don't have a lot of Mahomes. Anybody want a Carson Wentz rookie? In his uh, North Dakota State Uni? <laughs> Obviously not for me. I'm not even buying. Nick Boza jersey card. Anybody want a Nick Boza jersey card? All right, Jeff. Appreciate you hanging out. <laughs> Joe says, I have a lot of cards of his dad. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to take off. Um, appreciate y'all that hopped in. Man, or airtime, I'll send you an email with your total. Um, Void, you only bought that one card from me. Do you want me to just let it ride or what? Let me know, Void. If you buy anything not in pinstripes, you know it's for someone else. Gotcha. Email you. Okay. We'll do. All right. Mansman's all settled up. All right. Looks like we are good. So I'm going to let y'all go for the day. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Uh, let it ride for now. Okay. Will do. Will do. Uh, but thank you all for hanging out with me for this past hour and so. But I'll be off for the night. And I'll be back tomorrow with an upload. Fairfield rip. Um, also got a few contest entries I need to, to do for, uh, he's got the contest going on. There's two contests I know I got to do entries for, um, but you'll see those on the channel shortly, but, uh, I'm taking off. Appreciate y'all hanging out and I will see you around the community. Peace out.